was and how I bridged kind of my my methodology and my artistic practice to the way that I um, conduct work in the organization that I work for, the Aboriginal Curatorial Collective. So this image that you see uh, is from an exhibition that I I worked on with my colleague. Her name is Asmaya. She's an Inuk um, filmmaker from Kujuak, uh, Inuk tribe, sorry. Um, and so her and I lived in Montreal together, and we built a friendship together there that um, was really special. And you know, like we would protect each other. And so one thing that we often would think about as two Indigenous women in Quebec uh, and now um, in Toronto um, is how we can take care of each other and take care of each other's bodies as we navigate the world. Um, as an Indigenous woman and as people of color, it's often difficult to feel safe in places. So one thing that we really wanted to talk about was how we can protect people in the spaces where we don't often feel protected, where we're trying to get to places where we might feel protected. So what are the spaces in between that we can put gestures out into the world, where people might see a part of themselves protected? And what this uh, meant for us is taking time to think about how we put care out into the world. Um, so when I was moving to Toronto for this job, um, we really just tried to think about how we can keep these connections happening and how we can collect things or think about each other, although we're far apart. So we just started collecting objects that reminded ourselves of each other and the love that we have for each other. And we just collected a mass of things. As you can see, there's rocks, there's cedar from where I'm from, there's seal skin from where she's from. Um, and then we just came together in this space and spent time with every single object um, and gave every object a story. So every leaf was hand-stitched onto the fishing line. Um, every rock was intentionally placed. You can't see it here, but there's also a mass of beads that was at the front. Um, and along with every object, we also collected a sound. So every object also had a, a sound that kind of accompanied its story. Um, so this process was really important because it really forced us to sit there with things that reminded us of love. Uh, and this might seem totally insignificant to working in an organization, but one thing that it taught me was when we're dealing with people, you know, having chatted with you earlier, is we don't know where everybody's coming from. We don't know uh, the day that somebody's having or um, how they come into that space for colored people is often through uh, a lot of uh, hard times or through a lot of you know struggles each day. Um, so how we can take care of these people, and in a similar way to the objects placed here, how can we take the time to put love into objects that we surround ourselves with? Um, so this is just something that I, I try and think about a lot uh, is how. Insignificant objects, so you know, like rocks, you know, pass by rocks every day. Uh, how this can be something that has its own story, and how we can uh, create this love for the people that we surround ourselves with, even if it's you know, through rocks or if it's through um, just sitting with somebody for an hour, you know, in silence when they don't want to talk. Um, so, this is what I, I really try and think about. And um, I, we were talking earlier about doing the land acknowledgement. Um, and I, I was really thinking about what it means to in, use this kind of idea of really trying to think about how we care for land uh, and how we care for each other and how we care for people that were here before us. Um, and so I, I think I don't think I have very much time, so I'll keep it quite quick. quick. Um, but something that I, I really think a lot about is how we can think about the land that we walk on every how you can hold yourself accountable to uh, moving through cities or moving through spaces beyond just knowing the people that were here before us. Um, so what does it mean for you to go out intentionally every day and think about the first peoples that were here? Uh, for me, as Coast Salish, I come from very far away, so what does it mean for me to be an uninvited guest every day, to be able to ride my bike from my home to this library um, Freely, uh, and what can I give back? Uh, I haven't figured that out yet. I don't think any of us have figured it out yet. But I think it's something that's important to think about: <coughs> is 
if we are trying to retain the land acknowledgement, as uh, as I'm you know, um, I think it happens in the everyday. And so if we can think about it every day, then that's doing something more than just saying it. And it puts you in a position of having your relationship to the peoples and the land in the land acknowledgement. Um, yeah, so I think that's all the time that they have. I have five minutes. So <laughs> um, feel free to message me after or.